Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and question is what is service account in SQL Server? Quickly answering this question, uh, the service account in SQL Server, if you install SQL Server and the SQL services that run under the account, that's called service account of SQL Server. Uh, there are certain prerequisite uh, how one account can be a service account. Um, usually, a lot of folks have uh, in, in their mind that uh, if uh, services are running under a certain account, that makes it service account. That is actually not true. On Active Directory uh, side, if you wanted to make a service account, you have to do certain configuration on that particular account, and that makes it service account. So whenever you, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a good idea to install a SQL Server and run its services on its own service account. So in order to find what uh, what is SQL Server uh, service account, what account it, 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 the services are running, I'll show you in a second. And uh, uh, one more thing that uh, you if you didn't install SQL Server under a particular service account, you can go ahead and change that once you obtain the service account information from uh, SAs uh, or system administrator. So I'm gonna quickly show you where the service account uh, of SQL Server is. Here is the SQL Server Configuration Manager. You click on that, and here is my SQL Server. Uh, and up here, SQL Server uh, services are running. So you right click and properties. You will see this account right here uh, is um, uh, the the account that the SQL services are running. But again, I would emphasize on that that a lot of folks forget, uh, even though by definition it is true that uh, if the SQL Server uh, services are running on a, a certain account, uh, Windows account, then that that is a service account for SQL Server. It's true, but uh, that particular account doesn't make it, um, you know, just a, uh, just because it's running the service, um, make it service account. You need to make sure that from Active Directory, that account complies with all the service account um, the stuff. So um, I hope that uh, I've explained enough. If you wanted to change actually a uh, SQL Server that's already running, sometimes uh, you install the SQL Server, which is built-in account right here, and you can go ahead and actually change the account clicking on Browse and get the, uh, if you have information uh, about the service account, you can provide that information up here. You need to know the password if you're changing the service account. I hope I explained enough. I hope it helps.